here in magnificent Sydney Harbour. But I know what you're thinking about is New York City's child welfare system racist? Some of its own workers say yes. Well, most of New York City's child abuse workers are black, most of their supervisors are black, but uh, apparently, black families in their system kill their children at seven times the rate of other families, and somehow white racism must be to blame. Very disturbing. Every day, the New York Times reads aloud a selection of stories. Thank you. I'm Andy Newman. I'm a reporter on the Metro Desk, and I cover social services, which means homelessness, welfare, poverty, and things like that. This article that I'll be reading to you is about racial disparities in the child welfare system in New York City, where black families are seven times as likely as white families to be accused of neglect or abuse. Black families have long contended that the system is biased against them. It turns out that many of the city's own caseworkers think so too, according to a survey the city commissioned. ACS workers also said that for poor families, signs of poverty are often conflated with neglect, and that gets a lot of people put through these very intrusive child welfare investigations needlessly. I talked to one ACS supervisor. Very disturbing. <laughs> 